What's going on, Move the Mouse, back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth with our Let's Play Season 7, Episode number 8. And today's episode is going to be about kind of building up some more of the downtown area. I've got a little bit of a time lapse that I want to play uh, at the beginning, because I'm still having issues with the zoning that I haven't sorted out, unfortunately. So uh, the low density that's defined in the downtown area should be filling up with houses, because the, the townhouses are technically declared as that. Uh, maybe I'm reading something wrong, but uh, I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and plop a bunch of buildings down. Uh, I'm going to do it in a time lapse though. So if you want to just skip to the part where, you know, I continue on the build and I'm talking through it, I'll leave a timestamp on the screen. You can fast forward to that spot. But if you want to see kind of the building up of these uh, last couple blocks, then stay tuned for that. And we'll talk to you in a few on the other side.
All right, so I think that's pretty good for now. Um, I, I popped down a bunch of buildings. I tried to mix and match some textures. One block at the end there is all Euro houses. But, uh, but for the most part, it's a little bit more mixed. I'll go in and break up some of those patterns as the city continues to develop. But uh, we're changing the heights around a little bit here and there and, and making it look like buildings that were built at slightly different times. But I may need to go look at like some actual, uh, some actual uh, satellite imagery to kind of uh, mimic some of those patterns of how the buildings spread a little bit more. But I hope that you kind of got the idea for what I'm going for here. You know, thinking about how the town was built up and how zoning got more and more compressed as more and more people moved in. You know, even though we're only targeting around 20,000 for uh, the Portsmouth area of the map, which is everything basically below this waterway. Um, we are going to increase the population above that by moving some people into what is effectively Kittery up there. So we've got, you know, decent land to expand. You can see on the camera there's, there's a road and some little small residential areas will spin off of that. And uh, yeah, we'll, 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 We'll keep uh, adding people beyond, say, 20,000, but we don't want to go too, too high above that. So, in an effort to kind of help them along, we'll finish our downtown with some of the ploppable buildings there. One of the next tiles that I want to buy, and I can't 100% I can't decide, is this one. The airport, we're going to need these two tiles over here, kind of, if I want to do it where I was hoping. Um, but did I, even after talking about it in the, in the map creation, I did it. I put the, I put the train tile outside of the, the nine tiles. So we started here. I guess if you built down from there and built Portsmouth, that's what I was thinking. So if you weren't building the other side, if you only had nine tiles, you would build down that way instead and start to fill in some of these pockets and that would get you train. So that must have been what I was thinking. Because um, I'm sure that I mentioned it during the tutorial for the, the map making that you want to include things like that in the original nine tiles just in case people aren't playing with the most powerful BC or playing with mods. Um, so you can get there with nine tiles. You just have to build Portsmouth and not the main side of the river, which I think is an okay concession, but it's ironic that I didn't uh, that I didn't move that train over here. As somebody who's been burned by that in the past, I should have known better. Um, I think it's time to do a little assessment of where our city is at. So electricity, we are good. Water, we're in the yellow, and let's double check our budgets before I start plopping down all kinds of new assets. Uh, we might have this at some point, so we're probably not. I think I did a little bit of high density over here just to test to see if my uh, townhouses, row houses, things like that would zone properly, and uh, either way they didn't, so... Let me see. Uh, so water. Let's let's get some water going on the map. We can. We're moving the pollution out, and I'm also using a uh, one of the hide it features. So you'll notice that the industry area isn't all yellow and purple grass and polluted, and the water is. Although you can kind of see where those pollution pockets are, those hard hard dark lines, right? It's not as bad and it doesn't come up onto the shore. It still affects people in the exact same way. It just makes for prettier uh, screen grabs and cinematics, which is why I'm doing that. Okay, water. Let's do a couple towers. We're doing towers for now until we really decide where we want to put our water. And we can start thinking about that at the next milestone because we will unlock the water treatment plant. We're almost there. Let's throw on three times speed, see if we have people still moving in. I think all of these townhouses and row houses are, regardless of how they're zoned, I, I think they can support multiple families. Yeah. Either that or this is a really crowded apartment. Uh, 12 young adults, 8 adults. So, 
Seven adults. Eight adults. Okay. Is it somebody walking in and out of the house? So apparently we don't have great garbage service over here. Might be time to think about another dump for this half of the city. Uh, maybe what we can do is a little service road over here for now. We'll just come out here. Uh, and I'm going to put, I'm going to dump a dump. I'm going to dump a uh, recycling plant over here just to provide some service coverage. And since it's going to pollute the ground anyways, let's give them lots of service coverage. And, uh, and we'll water this into the grid. But that should cover over here just, just fine. All right, so we've got the fresh water sorted. We've got to sort out the sewage now. And it's unfortunate, but we are almost at, we get one right there, right, right there. We're almost uh, where we need to get to for that treatment plant. And that will get a lot of the, the, uh, the junk out of the system. The other thing we can do though, at 18,000 is start putting in, we'll drop in some floating garbage collectors to help clean up the pollution a little faster because we'll still be polluting. Uh, but those can help clean up some of our waterways, at least the ones we have access to. We can't clean up up here until we actually buy that tile. But we might get that when we start cheating because, um, you know, again, we, we don't want to make this town so big. I want to go for that small town feel. And I do want to redo a couple of these suburbs at some point. Little bits here and there, but that's just a, that's just my that's just my train of thought. I, that, that's not important right now. We will go in and I really want to fine tune this build. Um, just like I want to continue and go back to Wood Garden uh, and, and really really shape it up as best I can on console. Uh, this one, I once we're all done, I, I think I'll still come back and maybe we'll do things like a, uh, a city fence around there. We'll put a footpath. We'll do some pedestrian paths that cut over. Get kind of crazy. Get kind of crazy with all the the customization and fine tuning on the, the the real small detail level, so that we can do some cinematics and kind of fly by up close and see see what things look like. Okay, so electricity and water, we're okay, but sewage treatment, not so much. We're in a hundred twenty percent budget for. Okay, so I'm gonna reset all these. I think total auto budget when I disabled it left it whatever it was at so let's set everything to 100 and see where we actually need coverage as a result because we're not getting the most accurate gauge if these are all over the place and yes you can reduce budgets yes you can increase budgets um, increasing they're less effective though right so if you're scaling up to 140 percent you're spending a lot more than you would be by having the appropriate number of that resource and scaling it down. At least that is my experience. So let's get another sewage treatment plant in there just because that got us into the green. That's not necessarily going to solve our problem very long. Certainly not long enough that we'll get to 18,000, I think. There we go. So does that get our water up to around the same level as the sewage? Or I should say that the other way around. Uh, garbage processing, we are way in the red, so. They have pretty good range, which is good. We've got good green coverage all over the roads. What do we have over here for? We have four over this way. Let's do a fifth and a third. And see if that gets us where we need to get to. So here's a fifth one for over here. And we'll do a third one for over here. We'll do a fourth one for over here. The nice thing is you can move these. They will pollute the ground, but you can move them after the fact. Which we will do. That's not where the dumps are going. The other thing too is if we can get something really kind of central with the ultimate recycling plant later on, once we again un unlock it via cheats, um, that will be nice. That Because that might be able to support the entire city and uh, we could just do a couple recycling plants like I'm in the immediate area around it. 
maybe get tricky with some one ways and force them to go out to certain halves of the city. Um, but that is a that's a future that's a future me problem. That's a fix it later thing. Okay, so garbage is in the yellow. Hmm. Do we do do we do more plants? The gar the garbage are not that efficient. The, the recycling plants are not that efficient in terms of their ability to process. I feel like you need way too many of them. We have a city of less than 15,000. And we have nine recycling centers. Think about that for a minute. Think about how many recycling centers you have in your town or city. And that seems like a little bit overkill. Nine recycling centers to be in the yellow for processing. Like it's not even a range thing. Like look, everybody's in the green. Roadwise, you know, it's not an inability to go pick it up. Well, except maybe over here in Atlantic Heights, but they'll get there. They will get there. Um, but that seems a little bit excessive, like nine times excessive. I'm pretty sure one recycling plant would cover a town of 15,000 people. Two, if you want to get crazy, if you're really spread out geographically. But even then, that would be. I think would be ridiculous. So, ultimate recycling plant will definitely help us reduce some of that. Uh, education wise, how are we doing in the yellow on everything? Did I? No. I am 99% sure that I said something about it and I didn't put in a university. <laughs> So we're going to do at some point a UNH way up there, the University of New Hampshire. But my, I thought I put in, I thought I put this in the map. We've had this unlocked for a while and we uh, aren't educating people. So I guess if we put it right there, I, mean, I technically could. Like that. Run the road right through the back of the campus. Um, let's see. Where would be a good temporary spot for our university? We've got the bulk of our population kind of living off this main throughway. So. Is that zonable? This will do for now. But we'll make a spot for it. We'll make a more appropriate spot. Where is uh, education? University. So let's do that. And... Let's find the library. Or have I not unlocked it yet? Public library. This is the one that affects education. Small bonus to education within the building radius. So let's drop in a library there and let's find a spot in our little downtown area over here. for another library and let's get serious about our schooling because we're, we're way behind here. So this one, the middle school, it's kind of a big object. We could fit it in over here somewhere. What if we did something like this just behind this residential neighborhood? Let's let it play for a second. And see what that does. That does provide okay coverage. Up into here. We do have plenty of people living up this way though. So maybe we could do. Let's do a green school somewhere near our, our downtown area. Do it like that. And then let's see where we're a little light for coverage. We're, our capacity is good, but where are we going to move more people in, right? We could really use one down here. 
It's unfortunate that they don't have one yet. Want something like that? It's a little, little bit lopsided. All right, we'll we'll fix that later. Um, let's just get let's get through. Let's try and get through the info views before the end of the episode. I know it's impossible because I get distracted so badly. Uh, two over here. We've got one, two, three, four over this way. I mean, just for the heck of it. Put one up there, too. And then the only kind of light spot is really over there. It's not It's not too bad otherwise. High school. In the red, we've got two on this side that are kind of close to each other. But this is all green over here. We do have... City Paul, I thought I had schools out. Oh, I have not been doing policies. Oh my god, talk about getting distracted. Okay, pause. Recycling and recycle plastic. Don't those both reduce? Recycling centers work at better efficiency. And people produce less garbage. Man, okay, that that's why we have nine recycling plants. But still still even without those policies if you threw out everything everything um you still wouldn't need nine recycling plants for a town so that's ridiculous but that's my that's my fault if someone was thinking that after i was complaining about the nine plants and said you know you haven't gone into policies yet well then you were paying attention i was not um we have so we're, we're not going to do schools out. We're also not going to do education boost. We're going to do something that New Hampshire should have done by now, but they haven't. And that is recreational use. I think, I'm trying to think. They might be, I don't know if Maine has recreational use. I think every other New England state though does. I could be mistaken. I, could be, I know Vermont and Massachusetts do. Let's see. What else do we want to do? Ticket prices, prefer parks. We don't really have any parks yet, so I won't worry too much about that. We won't mess around with the taxes yet. Tax, uh, city planning, though. Uh, we definitely want a high-rise ban citywide. Should have done that before. Second I unlocked it. Uh, encourage biking? Sure. And when we do district everything off, we'll consider Old Town on a lot of them to prevent anybody from cutting through certain districts, especially if we do something like we do with Rosewood Hills or Atlantic Heights, you know, this residential pocket, we won't actually zone the main area, but we don't want, you know, trucks cutting through here to get someplace else just because there is an optional route. Um, I mean, that's okay for now. We'll filter industrial waste because this this reduces the pollution until we eventually get Eden Project to uh, to beautify our city, and we will drop that in at some point. But uh, but that will help reduce some of the pollution that we can't see, but of course is still is still there, plenty of it. Drinking water is zero percent pollution, but as you can see, the water is still polluted. Ground pollution, we've got some of that actually spilling up onto the ground thanks to the water. But most of it is the fault of the industrial areas. So education, we're good. How's our happiness? I'm always a little low on commercial happiness. We've got to do some parks. I uh, I defined this space as a park. And the game named it Park Park. We might have to keep that. Um, healthcare. We've got... One clinic and one hospital covering this half. And really, that should be reversed. The hospital should be more centrally located, but that's okay. Uh, and then we should at least get a clinic or, or two over here. Let's do the small clinics. Or should we move? It's the downtown. We can do a big hospital over here. Let's see. 
this block next to our police and fire infrastructure. That can work. We'll we'll figure it out. In the interest of time, healthcare, death care, three cemeteries over there, one cemetery over here. Let's put a cemetery in next to the school. Kids love to play at the cemetery. It's, it's almost as good as a playground. Especially on Halloween. No crematorium availability do we have. We haven't unlocked those yet. Those come at 18,000, so don't tell me about that. Uh, wind, we don't care about. Traffic, 80%. This is something that we're going to want to work on. Um, so we'll have a, a, a traffic maintenance episode because I want to get the traffic functioning as best as possible because we're not going to do... It's going to be small town, right? There's going to be a few main routes to get places, but we're not going to micromanage it too much. And we're going to have overloaded diamond interchanges. So we want to do what we can as we go to reduce where people are going. Something as simple as a one way here. I don't know why I'm highlighting this with a giant building in my 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 mouse. Um, if this was a one way coming this way, it would discourage traffic from coming in and zigzagging through. So we might do something with just a couple little one-way segments. Uh, this is a little funky. I dropped this in CVS, and it's got a drive-through. So I, I did a little, a little road that whips around. But I don't know if I'll keep that. This, this is, you know, creating intersections. But I don't think anybody's using them. We do have to deal again. I think I mentioned in the last episode with our, with our Mo's problem. We have a, a serious drinking problem, and all the bars have been bought out by Mo. He's, uh, he's franchising now. So, speaking of getting distracted, traffic, we'll have to work on that. Pollution, we're not worried about. We're doing what we can to reduce it, and uh, we'll do better as we unlock the uh, water treatment plant. Noise pollution, I think it's where we expect it, right? Industry, highways, main drags, all pretty bad. And then everything else is decent. This is very loud over here because this route is a... Uh, a pretty common route for traffic. I'm kind of surprised the interior streets are so loud. Maybe we need to district that off and prevent cars from cutting through. It looks like they're just driving through. They're not actually stopping at the, the residence. We will figure that out. Um, but noise, yeah, about where we expected. Fire safety. Doing pretty good. So when I unlocked the uh, fire watch towers, I actually dropped those in off camera. I think I mentioned that, but we're doing pretty good for fire safety. We could use, how do we do this, right? Because I want to minimize the intersections through here. But as you can see, there's a lot of traffic. We might want to make this so that there's no left turns allowed coming out of there. And if you want to go that way, then you should exit up through here. But then that might stress this out a lot. So we'll, we'll again, traffic is going to be something we want to stay on top of. Crime, we're doing pretty good. Actually, we're doing really good. I don't see any problems. Um, transport, we haven't done anything yet. But we're going to do like a bus line or two. A few bus lines. And... Maybe taxi service in this town? I don't know. But we're not going to have any metro or anything like that. Uh, Population-wise, 2% unemployment. That's awesome. We have some residential demand. We'll meet that in the next episode. Connections. Exporting goods. Land value. Climbing up into the green over here. I like this. This is a nice area to live in. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. It's not such a nice area to live in. It's a bad area to live in. Move out. Run, everybody, run. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh man, I take I take it back. It is it's not such a nice area to live in. So we definitely have some tree fire problems. I I think the last area that burned was over here. But uh, yeah, if you get if you get a house fire, 
it's gonna ignite a tree and i guess sometimes occasionally trees randomly ignite and because they're so packed in giant areas will burn i have one fire helicopter depot up here and i added another one during the last forest fire over here you might actually have seen that during the uh the time lapse of the downtown builds so uh sorry back in here one more one more quick look at what we haven't done districts we do need to district things off so that we can do some district specific policies we definitely need to get focused on adding more leisure and uniques. But we're in pretty good shape. Don't have to worry about heat. We're not doing road maintenance yet. Uh, we haven't defined escape routes because I'm not live streaming this city and people aren't encouraging me to destroy it. Uh, radio coverage, again, don't need to worry. So we're pretty good. We're pretty good. We could probably do a traffic junction. Look at that. But I think we're in pretty good shape. We haven't officially done any industry areas. I've been waiting on that until we get the industry moved up here. So this this road will probably kind of stay the same, but it's going to kind of follow the trees and come off that way. And then we'll have another little highway kind of carrying traffic up to the, uh, the airport. And we'll have a cargo airport, international airport, and some sort of shipping area over here. Uh, and we can do that because even though in the game, or I should say, even though in real life, this is, uh, on the other side of this would be like New Hampshire landmass. Um, I just connect a, connected a shipping route through there. So not 100% realistic, but certainly more fun to play. And, uh, and, and on one hand, that's kind of what we're going for. So, uh... <laughs> Very distracted episode, and for some of you that may be frustrating. For some of you, it may be even more entertaining when I when I fly off the rails and, and get distracted. But I'll do a little flyby of the um, the downtown area. It's starting to take shape, but it's still you know it's a downtown area that isn't surrounded by a lot right now. So you kind of have to look at it in isolation. We will again. We're going to build the map out and then I'm going to come in and really fine tune detail, especially the downtown, the coastal areas, uh, do some pedestrian paths, things like that. The The biggest build is going to be the downtown and then the airport and industry. And my God, can I get through one outro or camera shot without some burst into flames? I this this is suspicious. There's a lot of these around. Here. I'm going to have to. Uh, what is with this guy popping up everywhere? Is this something I don't know about? Is this something that's one in, the, in one of the buildings that I... Uh, if I had seen that in the building when I was selecting him, I definitely would not have picked that creepy clown face. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, okay, so where where was I? Getting distracted on the outro? Yeah, I think that's where we were. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in this series. Tune in on Thursdays and Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern for the console live stream. Subscribe if you're new here and hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter, though I'm much more active on the Discord, so join us over there. Get involved in the discussion with other like-minded fans of cities and of the channel. With all that out of the way, though, Stay tuned as we'll be continuing to improve and tune and tweak the town. Until the next one, though, this is Move the Mouse, signing off. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams.